this is a new thing. God is raising a new start. Hallelujah. The anointing of God is upon your life. Yeah. It's coming out. It's coming out. So we have, we have uh, you know, you should relax. God is taking care of the next generation. Amen. How many of you know that? He's taking care of the next generation. You know, and, uh, you know, I, when I read it in the scripture, you know, uh, the, 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 the Israelites, when Moses was taking them out, the fathers, they were in fear. And God said, look, you may be misbehaving, but I have a plan for your children. Hallelujah. So God has a plan for our children. Somebody say, God has a plan for our children. Amen. You may not see them talking to one another. God is depositing something inside your life. You know, very soon now, they will just invite me for preaching. I say, I don't have time to come, but I'm going to send my son, Daniel. Hallelujah. Daniel is just going to send me because he has been sitting under my teaching. Hallelujah. Something has been transferred. If Daniel is not available, I will send uh, David. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If David is not available, I'm going to send uh, Isaac. You are going to come and represent us. You know, the confession we make every day is not, you know, is not in vain. These people are champions. They are kingdom advancers. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, it's, it's possible. There, years ago, and I want to see it under the teaching of a great man of God, when I was in uni, Hallelujah. Amen. Reverend George Adeboe. I was just one of the people in the congregation. You know, listening, teaching, and so on. Recently, he told somebody, that person said, Oh, sir, we want to invite you. He said, No, don't invite me yet. Go and invite my son. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, Me? The person called me and said, Reverend, son. Reverend wanted to come, but said, before he comes, I must come first. I said, me? I wasn't among the pastors then. So that's what I was telling you. God has a plan for a generation. The person called me and said, look, we have booked your hotel. We have booked everything. Reverend God said, we must invite you. This is the man that is well known. All over the world. Pray my child. And I said, Me to go and stand in the place of Reverend George, he must be by grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So God has a plan for us. Yes. He has a plan for our children. Amen. Our futures are bright. Yes. Our futures are colorful Amen. in God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you are you happy to be in church this morning? Yes. So come on, somebody shout Amen. Amen. Somebody shout Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I was I was glad when they said to me, "Let us go to the house of God." Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to be still this our month of abundance and our month of what? Fruitfulness. So let's look into the word of God. And let's put our hands together for praise. Hallelujah. We set forth a blessing to God be the to be a blessing to them in their daughter. Amen. Amen. So that we have a very good replacement. Glory be to God. You know, you see, God is positioning us, positioning our children. Amen. Amen. So let's open our Bible to the book of Second Peter. Second Peter. I'm going to start.
Passons au chapitre 1, verset 1. C'est Simon Peter et Tom Savant, apostle and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained like precious faith. Somebody say, I have obtained. Like precious faith. Like Amen. So it was writing to those people who have something precious inside of them. And that thing you have is called precious faith. So precious faith. You have something precious inside of you. And the Bible says, if you look at chapter 1, we don't want to go, but I just want us to look, continue. He said, to those who have obtained like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, say grace based on what you have obtained. I decree and I declare may the grace and peace be multiplied to you. That thing which you have, the seed you carry inside of you, it will not remain only seed. It must grow. It must multiply. It must be what? Be fruitful. It must replenish. And it was now making a bold declaration that grace and peace be multiplied. Somebody is I want you to put your hand upon your head and declare grace, grace and peace, and peace be multiplied, be multiplied. Unto, me. unto me. Hallelujah. May the grace and peace be multiplied to you. In what? In the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him. If you have the knowledge of God in your life, you have everything. Somebody say, I know God. I know God. The Bible says in the book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 32, it says, they that know their God, they shall be what? Strong. They will not be weak. They shall be strong and do exploits in every area of their life. In your academics, in your career, in your spiritual life, in your ministry. You shall be strong. You will not lag behind. You shall be strong in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, you will obtain through the knowledge of God, there is something that we have is called divine power. Divine what? Power. He said, as his divine power, he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him. The greatest knowledge that a man can have is the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. It's the knowledge of God. When the knowledge of God increases in your life, everything increases in your life. Mm. Knowledge of God is so powerful. It's called the revelation of God when it's revealed to you. Somebody say, God, appear to me, and my life never remains the same. Nobody can make me backslide. If you have an encounter and you have the knowledge of God in your life, and the Bible says, who has called us by what? Glory and virtue. By the exceeding, by which have been given us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through this you might be a partaker of divine nation. I've been escaped. Somebody say, I've escaped. I've escaped. Hallelujah. Amen. So the knowledge of God will cause you to escape corruption. Mm -hmm. 
you will not be decayed. The knowledge of God will cause you to escape the judgment that has been posed upon the world. Having escaped the corruption that what that is in the world through love. I don't know what you are struggling with right now. When the knowledge of God kicks in in your life, your life will never remain the same. Yeah. The knowledge of God kicks in into my life in 1991. I gave my life to Christ, and my life has never remained the same. Immediately it kicked in, I know that I contain something, divine nature. I'm not the same anymore. The power of God will begin to work upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, this faith, what should we do with it? What should we do with this faith? Because what surrounds this faith, we have been highlighted. Grace surrounds it. He has allowed the grace of God and the, word, the peace of God to be multiplied upon you. Because something precious has been deposited into our life. Now comes five. Now say, look, the responsibility. Somebody say, I'm a responsible person. I'm a responsible person. Responsibility is a sign of maturity. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Immediately you know that you have something precious, you don't throw it away. Hallelujah. Joseph knew that he had something precious. Inside him, he didn't throw it away. When Potiphar's wife came in, Potiphar's wife didn't even chase anything after Joseph. Joseph was just a slave boy, but he could see that he has a bright future. He could see if there's something that has something inside of him. He was a different person. Why? Something precious is inside of him. Somebody says something precious. Something precious. Is inside of me. So immediately you come to know that you have something precious, the enemy will run after you. That precious, you, you know, you, you can see some people, you know, you, you know, there was a man there, uh, Will Smith, the enemy of state. I mean, you know, they were chasing him. He wasn't know the reason why they were chasing him. He said, What did I do? Why? Because something precious was inside him that the enemy. Somebody uh, accidentally deposited it into him. Uh, uh, how many of you have watched that film? And since that time, the bongo is out. You know, they trace it. He said, Why are they after me? Why is devil after me? Because I carry something precious. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, I carry something precious. I carry something precious. You now say in verse 5. But also for this very reason that you know that you have a bright future. You carry precious seed of faith inside of you. This faith, oh Lord, is what the only thing that God sees that pleases God inside you. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But say, without what? Faith, not without prayer. Without what? Faith, it is impossible to please God. Mm. You have it inside of you, it has been deposited. It looks like a mustard seed. You cannot see it. When you see a mustard seed inside of you, you know, it looks so tiny. But if you plant this mustard seed, it can become a tree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. There is something that God has deposited inside you that you know you are not aware of but today God is breaking it into you. Amen. 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 He said but also for this very reason ah, my 
sake la kushi kuyaka. I'm not joking. In the next few years, in the next few years, it will show what you can. You know, it's not a matter. Your mothers can tell you when the, the seed is deposited inside of them, it may not show in the first few months. In the third month, they will begin to feel vomiting all around. What is happening to me? What is happening to me? There is something that has been deposited. What is happening? By the time they know it, you know, they begin to go to Atlanta, you know, do some lessons and, and training because something is about to, you know, you know, to be, you know, they have to begin to be careful because in the next few months they are going to deliver something. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. After they have delivered something, that's just the beginning. Hallelujah. Something years later, the person wow, a seed that was deposited, it looked like a seed. And has grown. Look at them now. She has grown. Hallelujah. Look at one day. One day is today is a bad day. Amen. Let's put our hands together for her. When mommy was carrying that seed, she doesn't, she doesn't recognize it's going to be so precious like this. Am I okay, mommy? She's a precious seed at that time. There is something inside of it. And mommy, you know, we will now begin to see, mommy will be very diligent. Work has just started because I'm carrying the future of you over. Hallelujah. I carry the next generational leader. Amen. You know, when Moses was conceived, the mom said, By faith, this is a special seed. He mm. must not be killed. Mm. This is faith. This is the work of faith. Look at Hebrew. Let's look, 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 look at Hebrew chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. Let's look at that. Okay, verse 23. Look at it. Look at it. It's so, it's, the woman saw something. He said, by faith, Moses, when he was born, what happened? He was eating three months by what? His parents, because they saw he was a special child, beautiful child, beautiful child, and they were not afraid of the king's command. He said, This one must not be killed. And God is watching over you, you will not die. Amen. The enemy may wage war day and night. There might be a command going out there to corrupt you, to terminate the destiny that you carry. We are going to tell you by the power of God, nothing, nothing can terminate your future. Amen. In God. Amen. He said, by faith, when he was become of age, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. Why? Because he was a precious sin. He knew what he carried, he knew this is from God. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's go back to Second Peter and continue there. So you need to guide your destiny very well. There's a lot to preach you. Amen. 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 So let's jump. Let's go some time. This is after 12. The Bible says, 
but also for this what? For this very reason. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 5. Give all. Somebody say all. all. Give all diligence hey. to your faith. Give all diligence to your faith, which is what your seed, your precious seed. Virtue. Somebody say virtue. Virtue. What is virtue? You need to package your faith. And the first thing you need to package it with is called virtue. It's called the power of God. When you are, give up. Make sure that your faith develops by adding what virtue to it. Virtue is what we call value. You value your faith. You value. You know, I don't, I look at people that, you know, sometimes they don't value their precious seed. Don't, you know, you need to ask. You can ask more than again. The way they carry their baby when you are born. You know, they add all every necessary ingredients to say this one will grow. Hallelujah. Amen. I will not be neglected. I will not just put it aside. I will add something. I will impact this baby. I will decorate this baby. I will make sure that this baby look good. You know, care for this baby. Hallelujah. Amen. So your faith is your baby. It must grow. Hallelujah. So what do you add to it? That is an assignment for you because of time. Number one, add what to your faith? Batch. You are going to be, this is your assignment. Make sure you know your purpose. Amen. Amen. Make sure you know why is the enemy attacking me because of this precious thing. That's what happened to Joseph. He added virtue to his faith. He had a dream. His dream, he knew he is going to become something great in life. He did not allow anything to tamper with his faith. I pray for you. Not to tamper with your faith. Every faith that has been, oh Lord, tamper with, I command, oh Lord, the power of God to come upon you again. And God is giving you a new start. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible said to virtue, Knowledge. Somebody shout knowledge. knowledge. We know the definition of knowledge. Ability to know what is the purpose of that faith you carry. And to knowledge, self-control. You can't just go anywhere with your precious things. Hallelujah. Somebody say self-control. Self -control. Self control is for you to what? To create a boundary. Because of what you carry. Amen? Amen. You create a boundary. There are some things I must not do. When God gave a precious seed in the form of something, they gave something, they, they told the parents that this is a Nazareth. Nothing will touch his ear. Hallelujah. Amen. He must not do this thing. He must not do that. He must not take alcohol. It's not that they don't want you to enjoy your life. Hallelujah. Amen. It's because of what you can. You know, some children, you know, they say, ah, my money is money to me. My dad is money to me. No, it's because you are a precious seed. Somebody say, I am the precious seed. Precious seed. And to self-control, perseverance, 
When you carry things, you will go from place to place. Look at Joseph. Because of the dream he carried, he was moved from what? From sitting with his father to what? To the pit. From pit to Potiphar's house. From Potiphar's house to what? To prison. From prison to what? But during those times, he was persevering. We read it in the games that we read today. You must wait, you must persevere because abundance is coming. Amen. You will see still the results. Why? You are not just a nobody, you are not just an accident. You are a child of purpose. You carry precious seed. Somebody say, I carry precious seed. I carry precious seed. And the Bible says, to work to perseverance, godliness. God in it, you must think like God. Everything must be what God says. You must have the appearance of God. You must fear God. That is what called God in it. Hallelujah. Amen. To when you are persevering, you don't you don't lose sight of God. Joseph, for example, again, when Potiphar's wife came to him. And came to him and said, Oh, you must lie with me. What did he say? He said, Why would I do such a wicked thing against what God? Nobody was looking at him. But he had the seed of God inside of him. I said, If I do this thing, I will destroy God inside of him. He said, People are watching us. It's not people, it's God. Nobody can receive you. What you do, you see me. But God sees me. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You say, let's do this thing. Nobody will know. Your secrets say with me. Oh, my secrets. We God don't know. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone say, God in it. God is my virtue. And Bible say to God in it, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, love. Everything operates by love. Amen. Amen. You must love. To love is to serve others, to show kindness, to show affection. As you go in life stage by stage, express the love of God. Mm. He said, "It's not. It's not. It's neither circumcision or circumcision. It's faith that walk by love." If you say you carry precious sin, you must express it by love. That's what Jesus did to us. The Bible says, while we are still yet sinners, he died for us. And he now say, look at what he says in verse 8. He said, For if these things are yours, some of them say they are mine. They are mine. <laughs> Amen. If these things, what are these things? Faith is mine. Virtues is mine. Knowledge is mine. Self-control is mine. Perseverance is mine. Godliness is mine. Brotherly kindness is mine. Love is mine. If these things are yours, I claim them. I claim them for you. They are yours. Receive them. Receive them. Receive them. In the mighty name of Jesus. If these things are yours and what are bound, they grow inside of you, they grow in your life. You express the love of God. And the Bible says, if they are yours, what will happen? You will never be bound. I want you to make a bloody declaration. And say, I will never, never, never be buried. Be buried. Amen. 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 Love, I see your brain open up. Say it, Brushik. At your place of work, you will never be buried. Amen. Yeah, Brushik, we in the business world, you will never be buried. Amen. He said, You will never be buried. And 
unfruitful. And that is the moment what God spoke to us this month. We will never be barren. Abundance is our culture. It's our heritage. Fruitfulness is our heritage. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My faith will grow exceedingly. In the mighty name of Jesus. My faith will grow exceedingly. In the name of Jesus. The power of God will grow exceedingly. In my life, in the name of Jesus, Lepro Shekoria, I will exceed all expectation in the name of Jesus. Lepro Shekoria, Tali Shekoria, Tali Makoria, Tali Shekoria, Tali in the name of Jesus. Lekatoli Shekoria, Tali Shekam. Makoria, Tali Shekoria, Tali in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jonah chapter 4, verse 6. And the Bible says, The Lord God prepared a plant and made it to come upon Jonah that he may be shaped from, from, for, for his head to deliver him from his mystery. There is something that God is planting right now. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going through something. God will say, God has prepared something for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And Jonah was very grateful for the plant. One of the ways to grow in faith in what God has planted in your life is to show appreciation. Amen. And that's the place where we are going to start from. You see, we are grateful. We are grateful for the choir. You know, God was showing me this is a sign. Hallelujah. You know, we are grateful for our children. We are grateful for, for, this, for this auditorium. We are grateful. I went outside there. I count the number of cars. I saw about eight cars. There was a time only two cars would come into this place. But we are grateful for the increase. Hallelujah. Have you, have you grown? We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful for years. There was a time you were 10 years old. Now you are 50. Now you are 40. Be grateful. Come on, let's rise up to our feet and begin to thank God for life. I'm grateful that I'm not in our spiritual. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. For God eh, that has put a shape around me and begin to appreciate it. I'm grateful that that precious seed has grown. La Proche Korea Tali Proche. Mansa Korea Tali Proche Korea. He was grateful. He was grateful. He was grateful for what he had deposited. We are grateful for Royal Christian. We are grateful. We are grateful for our pastor. We are grateful. We are grateful. That is how the faith grows. Yes, when you begin to appreciate what you have deposited in you, in the name of Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you,